What is up you guys? Shelby K here and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. I'm going to be doing another weekend in my life kind of vlog. It is currently Saturday morning. Um, I think it's roughly about 10:15. I just got out of the shower. <clears throat> I just kind of chilled out. I worked on some creative projects this morning and um, now I'm getting ready for the day. I'm going to go get my nails done today because they are growing out and need to be done. So we're gonna do that. Today's my dad's birthday, so we're gonna be going out to dinner, um, and then tomorrow I'm getting my hair done. So that's kind of the plan right now for the weekend, but I thought I'd bring you guys along. Um, so I'm just kind of getting ready. I just took a shower, I'm just in my robe. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my skincare and do my hair. And then I thought I would kind of show you guys what my makeup routine has been looking like lately because I've been really enjoying doing my makeup again and I finally kind of narrowed down and I can do my makeup in under 15 minutes now and it's fantastic. So I thought I would show you guys that. Um, but for right now I'm going to do my skincare and then I'm going to curl my hair and all of that fun stuff. And yeah, so I think I'll just set you guys up and we can chat a little bit while I'm doing my skincare. So yeah, this last week has been kind of hectic. We hired someone at work. Um, Cause for a while there, I was the only receptionist or other receptionist um, ended up leaving. And <coughs> so work has just been hectic. I've been working a lot of overtime, not taking lunches, things like that. Cause I've been the only receptionist at our office. Um, we finally hired someone. And so I've been training her this week and it's been great. She's doing really well, but it's just been kind of hectic because when you're the only one up in the office and you're trying to train and there's a million things going on at once, it just has been a little hectic. So um, I definitely needed a more chill weekend this weekend. Other than that, like I have been on such a creative grind between getting back into doing filming videos and stuff. I actually, as of right now, have like four pre-filmed videos I just need to edit them and get them ready to go so hopefully I can get back on my schedule um and then I've just been doing a lot of just like creating for my little or for moon space which I have talked about it a little bit but if you guys are new here or didn't watch one of my or didn't watch my life update video I think it was um I finally opened up my own kind of like online shop type thing. I do commissions for drawings and like graphic design and I've been the last few days I've just been like totally going ham with it. Um, my friend is actually getting married so I'm doing some projects for her and then she had some other stuff that she wanted me to do and I've just been on this creative grind and it's been fantastic. Um, so I'll link that down below if you guys are interested. Um, I might even, I'm considering even putting it on Etsy. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it, but it's been really fun to just have that creative outlet and I've just felt really good about it. So I haven't really talked about it too much, but, but I have been dealing with a lot of health stuff for the last year. I'm sure. I mean, I've mentioned it a couple times, but I haven't really sat down and talked about it. Um, but I have been diagnosed with Hashimoto's. Um, which if you guys aren't aware, that is a, it's an immune, autoimmune condition, um, where essentially your immune system is attacking your thyroid and it's, it causes you to become hypothyroid, um, which just means that your thyroid is not producing enough hormone, um, or enough of the hormones. It makes you feel really sluggish. You gain weight, that kind of stuff. Um, so I had my endocrinologist appointment, my, I had my first endocrinology appointment yesterday, um, and it went really well. Um, I was waiting, I waited for this appointment for like three months because my doctor was like, well, you've been confirmed Hashimoto's, now we have to send you over there so we can decide how we're gonna treat it. Um, and it went really well. I have to go get a couple more blood tests done just to determine exactly where my hormone levels are. And then we can discuss medication. And I'm just really excited to finally kind of get a handle on this hopefully because, um, Especially the last few months, it's just been really bad. I've just been super tired. Like, I can't get enough sleep. I just feel really sluggish. I've got brain fog going on. My hair is falling out. It's just been a lot. So I'm really excited to kind of, you know, get that a little bit under control. I want to do a whole video about my experience, everything that has been going on. Um, so I don't want to talk too much about it. But that was really exciting. 
yeah, there's, uh, it's just, things have been going really well lately, and I'm just, I'm very happy about it. I was a little worried <clears throat> that this month was going to be a little bit harder, because <clears throat> Avery's birthday, death day, anniversary, whatever you want to call it, is this month on the 27th, so, um... I just, I felt like this month would be a little bit harder, but so far it's been okay. I know as we get closer to the date, you know, emotions are going to rise a little bit, but it's okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. <clears throat> so anyway, that's just kind of my life ramble. I'm going to go ahead and curl my hair and then we'll get into the little bit of a makeup routine. All right. My hair is all nice and curled now. It's a total grease ball, but I think I'm going to wear a hat today, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um... But I did take a break and ate a snack because I was starving and I worked a little bit more on my creative projects. So now we'll get into the makeup routine. So we're actually going to try a new foundation today. Um, I have been using and loving the it Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream because I wanted something that was a bit lighter. But I'm having a problem with my skin just being really, really dry. And so it starts looking really cakey and starts like flaking. Um, so I actually just went and got the Illumination one with hydrating serum in it. So we'll see how this works out for me. So we're going to start with the base. And actually I'm going to tighten this to show you guys how quickly I can do this. So starting now. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to start with the base. I use the NYX Bear With Me Jelly Primer. It used to take me like half an hour to do my makeup and now it's like at the most 10-15 minutes so it's been very nice so yeah just kind of put that on i try to especially put it on my forehead and my nose because that's where my foundation tends to rub off the most so i let that sit and then i go ahead and i'll go on to my eyes um for I have primer, I just use my concealer and I use the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. Just do a dot, dot. My three most used palettes are the Naked Urban, De Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette, the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, and then this uh, Makes Revolution Chilled um, Palette. This one has a lot of greens, but um, I mostly use these two shades here um so i'm gonna start with that in my crease i just kind of mix them together this is cool and relax and i just kind of blend that into my crease and my outer v and then today since i'm wearing kind of a pinky salmon shirt i think i'm gonna do the peach palette sometimes i'll just do this and then um i'll take like a darker brown and kind of blend it in that outer v but today i think i'm gonna do a little bit more Pinky tones, um, I think I'm gonna use these two colors. They're, it's Georgia and then, I don't know, this one wore off, but these kind of brownie, more kind of brownie pink colors. I'm gonna just blend those together and put that kind of from the middle of the lid into the outer V, if that makes sense. I'm not a makeup artist by any means, but this is just, how I like to do my makeup. So you kind of get that effect and then I'm going to go back in with this relax color. Bring that into the middle from the inner corner and blend it with that. And that's all I'm going to do on the eyeshadow today. Then I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. Um, if you guys didn't already know this, I literally just take eyeshadow with an angled brush, wet angled brush, and use eyeshadow. I always use, I go into the same palette, I use this burn color. And then that's kind of what my eyebrows end up looking like. They're never perfect, but that's all right. Now I'll go ahead and we'll put on the foundation. I just take my beauty blender, I just kind of put a dot, and then I'll just kind of Dot that onto my face, and then I'll go in and I'll blend it out. 
All right, now that that's all nice and blended out, it's actually not looking too terrible. I'm gonna do my concealer. Just do doop, 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 doop. That's it, there. Just blend that out. It's been really fun to just like play with my makeup again. Cause probably a good majority of last year I didn't wear any makeup between being pregnant and sick and just, you know, everything. So, all right beautiful and then i really try not to use any setting powder just because my face is super dry and it just makes it more cakey so i'm just gonna leave it how it is that's kind of what the base is looking like i'm gonna go ahead and finish the eye look curl my lashes put on mascara i use the essence lash princess mascara I only put them on the top lashes just because I hate how it looks on my bottom lashes. I really want to try out eyelash extensions, but I'm really worried because I tend to be allergic to adhesives, so I'm afraid I'm going to be allergic to it. Um, so, I don't know. We might try to give it a try and just test the glue, like, not on my eyes at first and see if I react, but we'll see. So I always start with my mascara, and then if I feel like I need to add eyeliner, I do. Um, I'm thinking today I don't, actually. I'm kind of looking out, like, and how it's looking without it. Okay. So that's the eye look. And then for the rest of my face, I am going to be using this Roxy Contour and Highlight Palette from Makeup Revolution. It's very dirty, but... I've been loving this thing since I bought it. It's got some contour shades and then some highlight shades. I usually go in with kind of, I don't usually use this light one, but I'll kind of do a mix of these. I think today I'm just gonna use these two. I'm just gonna blend those together. Bring it up and then down and then a little bit on my neck. Same thing on the other side here. Okay, and then I just do a little bit down my nose. Okay, and then I just do a little bit down my nose. Okay. And then, I'll come back to the highlight, but then I use this Anastasia brush, or blush trio in Peachy Love, and I usually Sometimes I'll use these two colors, sometimes I'll use these two colors. I think today, since I've got kind of a more salmon shirt, I'm gonna do these two. And just kind of put that on. As you can see, I'm not super precise with my face makeup. I just kind of put it on until I think it looks good. And then the highlight. Usually, most days, I just kind of swirl all four of these together, and then... Alright. And then I spray everything with this NYX Bear With Me setting spray. And that's pretty much all I do most days for my makeup. Um, and we are officially at like 13 minutes almost. So very quick, very easy. All right, this is my final look for the day. I've got to my cutie little wide brim hat, this cute salmon shirt, some black jeans, and these little black loafer shoes. I don't know what you call these. And this cute cardigan over top.